So in today's video, I want to talk about the pros and cons of being a pharmacist. So you all know that I work as a staff pharmacist at a hospital and I absolutely love my job. I love what I do and I love who I work with and I just love the environment that I'm in and it's honestly a blessing. Um, but I figured I'd come on here and share some pros and cons of pharmacy now that I've been a pharmacist for around like eight months. So I figured I'd just, you know, share my perspectives for anyone who is thinking about pharmacy, who is in pharmacy school, who is about to enter the pharmacy world. I just wanna share these tips with you because I think that they're gonna be helpful because they would have been helpful to me had I known them before. <laughs> so let's start with the pros of pharmacy. The first thing that I will say, a pro about being a pharmacist is that it is very versatile. If you wanna do nuclear pharmacy if you want to do retail pharmacy if you want to do hospital pharmacy if you want to work for an insurance company if you want to do research if you want to do oncology if you want to do cardiology emergency medicine like there are so many different avenues that you can take with pharmacy of course depending on what you want to do you may have to do some extra training after you graduate get board certified in certain areas complete a residency all these different factors come into play but one of the things is that you don't ever have to feel like you are restricted to just one area of pharmacy because there's so many different avenues that you can take. So I know a lot of people talk mainly about retail and, and hospital, but there's so many other options. And I think those are also good things to become specific in because the more specific that you go in pharmacy, the more opportunities you may be able to have available to you as far as job wise when you graduate, especially when it comes to oncology pharmacy. A lot of jobs I look up, a lot of times they're looking for oncology pharmacists. So that could very well be a good um, niche to go into in the realm of pharmacy um, if you are interested in that and to really kind of guarantee you like a really good position because they do get paid very well <laughs> but it's not all about the money another great thing about pharmacy is our job and what we do the end result one of the things that I love to see especially when I you know work in retail sometimes is being able to see the difference in people's health to see people getting healthy brings me so much joy it makes me so happy because we live in a world where you know individuals are, are suffering with so many different you know health ailments or you know so many different diseases and sicknesses and illnesses and so when you are able to see someone getting better you know based off of like you know their medication um, or whether it's your counseling or your recommendation on how they take their medication that is very rewarding and very fulfilling and I remember having my first encounter of seeing the results of like, you know, my counseling and helping out and like intervening on a patient's, you know, prescription. And it was like, oh my gosh, I felt so good. And I was just like, wow, I love what I do. And so that's one of the biggest things that I will say um, in pharmacy is, you know, really seeing people get better. That's a second thing that I will say is that the career is very rewarding. Um, as far as like seeing like people get better. So another pro about being a pharmacist is that you go to school for a long time, yes, and you may also get into some debt. However, coming out of college, depending on you know what area of pharmacy you choose, you can be compensated pretty well. And that's definitely a pro considering you know all the hard work, all the schooling that you go through. Um, it is definitely rewarding, you know, to start working in your career and being compensated, you know, pretty well for it. So that's definitely a pro at pharmacy. I know sometimes people can say like, well, you know, right now the market's not that great. So people aren't getting paid that well and all this stuff. Um, and that's why I said it's specific based off of the avenue that you choose. Some people can start out making way more. Some people can start out making, making way less. Depending on your training, depending on, you know, additional things that you do, you can potentially make more money. So just keep that in mind. Like if you feel like you're not making what you think you should be making, you know, you could very well try to get more experience, get board certified, 
do a residency, all these different things that can really help to increase your compensation. But right off the bat, if you graduate, like I graduated, I didn't do a residency or anything like that. And I work at a hospital and I feel like I'm being paid pretty well. So, and I'm satisfied with what I'm making. So, and I know that there's definitely room to grow. And so um, that's why I'm like, I'm pretty content. So. I definitely think that that's a pro. Of course, like I said, it's not all about the money, but it is nice to know that, you know, your hard work does literally pay off. <laughs> so now let's get into some of these cons, okay? With any job that you have, with any career, there are gonna be some cons that you experience and that you hear of. So the first one that I will say is pharmacy is saturated. I've said it in multiple videos. I've said it before, pharmacy is saturated. However, one of the things that I always say, networking, experience, and a good attitude will take you very, very, very far. And I say this because when you are in school, a lot of times students just focus on like getting good grades, making sure that they ace this and all this stuff. But I honestly feel like one of the biggest things you should really start doing while you're in school is working. Start building up your CV and your resume. Well, I had an interview and one of the things that the interviewer said was like, I really like that you have so much experience. And I've only been a pharmacist for eight months, y'all. Do not like overlook, you know, having a job in pharmacy school, whether it's retail. I would definitely recommend if you're trying to be in hospital to get a hospital position um, because this can really, really be beneficial for you, especially um, I would also recommend getting a job in a hospital that you want to work in as a pharmacist. I'm telling you, the hospital that I started as a technician and then became an intern is where I'm a pharmacist now. So definitely work in a hospital that you want to work in eventually. I'm not saying that this has to be the hospital that you're at forever, but this can really help to get your foot in the door because they see you, they see your work ethic, and they'll, they'll say to themselves like, okay, yeah, like, why hire someone else when we have someone right here who can work for us? So that's definitely a big thing is to network, is to get experience because that is really going to make a huge difference. The second con I will say is student loan debt. Y'all. <laughs> You've seen me talk about it in countless videos. I'll link them up here talking about my student loan debt. I am in six figures of debt and that mainly is from pharmacy school. So if you are in pharmacy school, then that's definitely something to consider is that, you know, upon graduating that you could have a substantial amount of debt. However, something to also think about is that you are going to be potentially making six figures as well. So you know, after a couple years of being very diligent and like, you know, really paying off a lot of debt, like you could eventually pay it off and then still be making six figures. So sometimes you just have to like weigh the pros and cons um, and also, you know, think about is this something that you, you know, could see yourself doing? Are you grounded enough to really be able to pay back your loans or do you feel like you don't want to have any student loan debt? Like it all depends, but that definitely is a downside about being a pharmacist, especially like, now because like you just graduate especially for me because i just graduated so that's something that's always like over my head is like the amount of debt that i'm in and like always thinking about that like you know i'm very good as far as like paying off a lot of debt like i paid off all my credit card debt and like i've been super happy about that and proud of myself because i was like whoa like i just like saw the amount of debt that i had like in credit card and that was mainly from like school and like having to buy like necessary things that i needed um that were expensive like i had to buy a whole new laptop like it, anyways um so that's not necessarily like related to pharmacy per se like to the career however a lot of people who graduate from pharmacy school are going to be in a lot of debt so that is something to consider um, about a downside especially like when you just graduate or just come out of school like you could potentially have a lot of debt and so you have to think about that like is your goal to graduate live on your own then you may want to consider, you know, really looking for scholarships or trying to figure out a way that could work or a plan to pay off your debt in a reasonable amount of time so that way you don't have to be paying for the rest of your life. So yeah, student loan debt is something that I think with a lot of healthcare professionals, that's something that is very prevalent, especially in the United States. That's just, you know, what it is. Um, but that definitely is a downside about um, 
just coming out of pharmacy school, especially that I'm experiencing right now. So the third and final con that I will share about being a pharmacist is that since a lot of people and sometimes even other healthcare professionals don't fully understand you know, the role of a pharmacist, they can kind of undervalue our role and our degree and our status. And that's something that can be a little hard sometimes. Like you do have a doctor pharmacy. No one really calls you doctor or you know how people talk to you sometimes they don't recognize that you do have a doctorate in pharmacy and so you are well versed on medications and things of that sort but they kind of just undervalue that or minimize your role and that's why i feel like it's so important to lobby for pharmacists it's so important to advocate for our career although we do have like certain associations and stuff like that we don't have like a big like force kind of like you know, being able to lobby for us, you know, to make certain changes. Um, and I think that's also due to not having provider status. So I feel like it's really, really important to advocate for pharmacy. It's really important to advocate um, for yourself and for the roles that we have, because if we don't, then who will, you know? So that's something that I've, you know, experienced and, you know, had to realize like, okay, you know what? I need to go hard for pharmacy. And that's why I do have this channel. And I'm sorry I'm not posting as much, but um, life gets super busy, but I'm gonna try to do better. But that's one of the main reasons why I even started my channel um, or continued with my channel is to really advocate for pharmacy, to really help people get an understanding of what pharmacists do, to recognize that we do make a huge impact in our society and in healthcare. So I hope that my videos can help to, you know, provide that education and to, you know, help people understand what we do as pharmacists. So that's one con, but I think that's something that um, with a lot of help, with a lot of um, encouragement with other pharmacists and us coming together as a team, we can, you know, help to make certain differences and certain changes um, in the career path. So that's pretty much all the pros and cons that I wanted to share for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that you learned something or if anything, I hope that you were encouraged if you are a pharmacist to really advocate for yourself, advocate for the career um, so we can really help make a difference and continue to help impact healthcare. So y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye y'all.